You can also simply measure the body weight pre and post and use a sweat patch or not and use the, the freer version of your clothing test and get a rough idea of where you're getting it from. So those are good places to start. Um, I want to go back though and make sure I wasn't over terrifying the audience too much on a sort of piece. If you're performing a type of training or exercise or sport in which you're not losing more than 2% of your body weight, you don't need to be overly concerned about hydrating in the sport. And so we can actually get into the, to, um, some equations for how much water to drink during training right now. But if, you, if you're again losing less than that, it's not critical. You can have some fluids if it like, makes you feel better, but you're not going to be experiencing tremendous amounts of performance decrements if you're, you know, again, out playing a, a baseball game and it's 50 degrees out, you're fine. Um, you can drink some water, but that's not going to be compromising performance or recovery. So uh, we can actually then, if you'd like, I can go through the three-step system for optimizing hydration, but uh, those are, I, I want to make sure I plan that flag so people aren't just terrified that they got to be guzzling down water if they're, you know, going to the physical therapist for some stretching. That's probably not super important. I'd like to take a brief break and acknowledge our sponsor, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is a vitamin, mineral, probiotic, and adaptogen drink designed to help you meet all of your foundational nutritional needs. I've been taking Athletic Greens daily since 2012, so I'm delighted that they're a sponsor of this podcast. The reason I started taking Athletic Greens and the reason I still take Athletic Greens once or twice a day is that it helps me meet all of my foundational nutritional needs. That is, it covers my vitamins, my minerals, and the probiotics are especially important to me. Athletic Greens also contains adaptogens, which are critical for recovering from stress, from exercise, from work, or just general life. If you'd like to try Athletic Greens, you can go to Athletic athleticgreens.com slash Huberman to claim a special offer. They'll give you five free travel packs and they'll give you a year supply of vitamin D3 K2. Again, if you'd like to try Athletic Greens, go to athleticgreens.com slash Huberman to claim the special offer. I would love for you to tell us what I refer to as the Galpin equation. Understanding, of course, that you did not name it the Galpin equation. Listen, folks, scientists can have things named after them, but in general, it's not uh, reflective of healthy psychology if they name things after themselves. Correct. Sometimes, yes, neuroanatomists used to do that. But in any case, Dr. Andy Galpin did not name the Galpin equation after himself. I named it after him. And the Galpin equation for how much fluid to ingest during exercise is... You want to take your body weight in pounds and divide that by 30. And you want to consume that number, which would be in ounces, about every 15 to 20 minutes. So in the example uh, of you being 200 pounds, you would take 200 divided by 30, which is, let's just call that number seven, be close, which means you would consume about seven ounces of water every 15 or 20 minutes or so. Now, as a little bit of a point, while I also did not name it, I also didn't do the research. It's important to point out that other scientists figured these things out. I just read their papers and made that derivation of their equation to make it a little bit easier for us folks who do not work on the metric system. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, I'm not 200 pounds, but it doesn't matter how much I weigh because the point is that the listener Correct. should take their body weight in pounds divided by 30 and just that number of ounces in fluid every 15 minutes. And then for those out there outside the US that are accustomed to thinking in milliliters and liters, not ounces, and kilograms, not pounds, what is the Galpin equation in the metric system? This would be two milliliters per kilogram, which again, if you were, uh, let's say 200 pounds, that's gonna be something roughly like, we'll call it 90 kilos. And so if you did two milliliters per kilo, you'd be something like 180 milliliters of fluid, again, every 15 or 20 minutes. Great, 